YouTube, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am Gina. Welcome to the Gift of Fab, the Hall of Fab, the station, the channel, ha. the channel that brings you fabulous thrift finds. Well, I have some uh, thrift haul, just a small thrift haul for you. Um, some of the pieces are not thrifted. Um, some of the pieces are pieces from my closet that I put with thrifted pieces because, you know, I'm into high and low, mixing and matching. Just making one great outfit. So, let's get into it. So this, um, this is a, um, actually this is a, a thrift haul lookbook because I took some pictures in these clothes already and I'm going to insert the pictures. So this uh, is a vintage, this is vintage. And not even like super old, but it's a vintage trench coat. It's pretty, let me back up a little bit. It's a nice turquoise color. It's old. It's Harvey Bernard. It's Harvey Bernard. And um, I've had this jacket, this, uh, this trench coat for a while. Let me just try it on really quickly. I'm gonna even insert the pictures where I actually style these so you don't have to worry about the length or anything. But I, um, have this coat for a while like when I first started thrifting and I thought it was a good piece to have in your wardrobe and so I styled it you'll see how I styled it I styled it with a white I styled it with a white you can't really tell a white well hopefully you can tell a white um sequence um camisole from New York and Company which this was also thrifted and I think this coat was about $8. Because usually the coats that I get from the thrift stores, they're usually about $8. So, and I styled these with some white pants. And you'll see in a nice bag, you'll see how I styled them. Um, these are the white pants that I styled them with. And these pants, let me see, are the wide leg. Like I said, you'll see in the, um, you'll see how I styled it. And these pants are made by Saint Tropez Saint West. They're just really nice. They have pockets in the back, little small pockets in the back, and they're wide leg. So these pants are very nice, very, very, very nice for a nice, I'm just going to lay that on the chair because that is going to cut into my time. This is a very nice skirt. I really like this skirt. I styled this skirt with, you'll see in a minute with this blazer right here. This skirt is brand new, still with tags for White House Black Market. Is that right? Because I always get them together. White House Black Market. Um, it's really nice. It's a maxi. It has the little lining and slip inside. Is the lining inside which is very nice. It has splits, uh, not on the outside of the skirt, but it has splits. Um, it's elastic waist. And it is a size zero. Oh. <laughs> a size zero. Remember I told you that you can um, wear smaller sizes in um, designer brands? This is one of them because there's no way I really wear zero. But as you'll see coming up, I styled this. It has pockets. It has pockets. So I styled this um, with some funny looking colors and stuff. <laughs> I styled it with this blazer. Oh, this skirt was um, $5. Brand new with tags and White House Black Market. I styled it with this yellow blazer. I'm just going to slip it on, but you'll see in the pictures how I actually styled it. It doesn't have um, buttons. It's one of those ones with no buttons. So I, I'm not sure if I had the sleeves up or not, but you can wear the sleeves up. You can wear them down with a big statement necklace. This is how it looks. I'm sure my hair was bunched up in the back, but we know how this goes. So this is a nice blazer that I styled with that black and white skirt. I like... um. Wait a minute, I have to step out. <laughs> I like um, just 
going off the cuff a little bit and styling things how I want to and breaking the rules if there are rules. Because um, to me, there's no rules in fashion. Do what you like, wear what you like. So this was um, uh, pro probably $5 because I've had this a while. And most of the blazers that I uh, thrift are usually um, $5. Now, these pants are not thrifted. They're not thrifted, but um, I wanted to put these pants in this haul. These pants are wide-legged pants. Look at it. Aren't they nice? I purchased these pants at Nordstrom Racks. Um, the tag is still on it. Hold on. I think I better push this back a little bit. The tag is still on it from Nordstrom Rack. I paid... I think I paid $60 for these pants and I am going to finally have them cut so that I could wear them before they're kind of heavy. So, um, I could either wear them now or, um, let me just reach over here and get this hanger again. I don't know why I keep putting stuff on the, the chair over there. Um, I styled this just with a black daddy's girls t-shirt and some black shoes heels and orange and black necklace you'll see in the pictures how i styled these pants this blazer is vintage it's clearly vintage with the um shoulder pads i'm gonna take it off the hanger with the shoulder pads it's nice it's really tailored very nice this is um, a blazer that I got at the Salvation Army. Um, I paid, I think, $8 for this because of the sequins. It's very nice. You'll see how I styled this. I styled this with a pair of sequins jeans that I thrifted from another store called Red, White, and Blue. Um, I don't have the pants here, but you'll see them in the video, the sequin pants. The pants are upstairs. I forgot to bring them down. It has a black and white button, and it's really nice. This is by the collection of in Haddonfield, New Jersey, which is where I live. Well, not in Haddonfield, but I live in New Jersey. So I like this, this, um, this jacket. I saw it, and then when my daughter saw it, I said, I don't know about this. And she was like, get it. It's so you. So I got it because it's so me. <laughs> I just only have um, one other outfit to show you. And then I have some shoes that I want to show you and a couple purses that I want to show you. So my last um, thrifted look is this um, that you'll see in the lookbook is this. Um, this is a chaps blouse that I found. It's usually not my style, but the color is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's a nice cotton blouse. And I um, paired it with or styled it with this um, skirt here. The skirt is really nice. Oops, banging into my rack here. The skirt is really nice. Um, it doesn't have pockets, but this is what I styled it with. I styled these two together because I wanted to capture the kind of greenish turquoise in this blouse. So I styled those together. And this skirt is um, a Worthington skirt, which is, I believe, is a... Um, What's the store? A Kohl's brand. Now I don't I don't shop at Kohl's, but this skirt is very nice. Now for me, I would prefer if the slip underneath was long because it's a maxi skirt. I really don't like the cut off. Um, it just doesn't work well for me. Um, it can work well for others, but not for me. But anyway, I styled this these two together. I styled both of these together, and I styled these with an orange purse as well as with some white chucks. That's how I styled these. And you'll see in the lookbook um, what I did. I think I have one more outfit to put in here, but we'll see. If I don't get it in there, you'll just see in the lookbook. I wanted to show you some shoes and um, some purses that I found. Now, these brands of purses, I'm just going to step right over here. This brand of, um, no, I don't know if this is the one. Let me check. No, this is a Talbot brand. I really like this bag. Now, this one I probably will keep because I love gold. So it has a nice tassel on it, and it says Talbot's. And a lot of times people overlook um, 
Because this is like for the more mature lady, a lot more mature lady. <laughs> um, but it's an expensive brand and it has a, you can carry it as a clutch. You see, you can carry it as a clutch, put your chain inside, or you can carry it as a shoulder bag, which this is very nice. And it is leather. It is leather. It is leather. 100% leather. I'm going to try to move in so you can see it. 100%, can you see it? <laughs> like you want to say yes. 100% leather. I don't know what is going on with this lighting, but we'll see. I don't know how it comes out. I'm just going to step right over here and grab this other purse. Now, is this a cutie pie or what? This is a cute little bag. Um, This purse is for the feminine. I'm trying to fix this so the chain can hang out. This is for the this nice pink rich leather bag is for the cutie pie now i would i probably wouldn't carry it like this i would definitely carry it as a clutch um it has leopard lining it's an excellent condition and this bag is um by tanigliello um i i when i'm fritzing i usually let me back up i usually see a lot of tanigliello bags and they're not always styled um, in the style that I would like to carry a purse. But every now and then, I find really great Tanigli Yellow bags. And these bags are leather. It says genuine leather on the inside. They are leather. So when you're out thrifting, look for um, some Tanigli Yellow bags. And you'll, you'll be glad that you found them. And these, both of these bags, like I said, they probably would go in my personal collection. This bag was $7 in this ex excellent condition. And the other one was also um, $7. Last week, I can't remember because I thrift all the time. I found these Talbert's pony hair um, flats. I don't wear flats. These are size seven and a half, so they'll be on my Poshmark. And they are by Talbert's. There's a piece of paper in there. <laughs> I just took them out of the bag. Um, so these will be, like I said, they'll be on my Poshmark. They're brand new. And they're, they are a seven and a half. So look for these on my Poshmark. Okay, so the next pair of shoes. I need to figure out how to get these shoes. Well, I don't have to bend over and all this kind of stuff. I found these today. Now, I didn't even know this woman had shoes. This is These are a pair of Wendy Williams shoes. They are my size, but they're not my style because I really don't wear flats. I want to get into them, but they have to be like a good quality flat. I don't like the flats that when you put your feet in them, they spread out. No, I don't like that. I need it to stay shape of the shape to the shape of my foot. But the however, these are very nice. They're beaded. They have feathers. They're brand new. They're brand new. And you will find, you can find these on my Poshmark. I found these on my way out of the Goodwill today. Okay. I have two more. These here. I wish I could like put something in it to shape the shoe. Let me, let me just put that one there. To shape the shoe. But this is a very nice, um, good condition. Uh, Michael Kors. It's very nice. Look at that jewel on this side. It's very nice. It's very good condition. Um, they have been worn, but not too much. The heel is not ran over or anything, just a little cleaning up. Um, and they'd be good to go. It has a, a slight, a slight wedge, not nothing serious, a slight wedge. And I like these. These I probably will keep. I'm not sure. I probably will keep clean up and keep. Uh, no. These are not Michael Kors. <laughs> this is Vince Camuto. I, I knew it wasn't Michael Kors, but I don't know why. But this is a Vince Camuto show. Shoe. Sandal. And last but not least, now when I saw these, I'm like, I don't know if these this is true, if this is the real deal or what. But upon um, doing some research, I found out that this, these are the real deal. And I can't remember the price because I don't remember the price. <laughs> but these are some coach flats look at them these are coach flats now the only thing that which i've noticed when i looked on poshmark a lot of the shoes like this particular velvet it's velvet 
It has the C's all over it. I'm, I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully, I'm trying to catch it in the right light so that you can see it. But anyway, um, they are, oh, I was saying a lot of the shoes are missing some of the gold. So I guess the gold from sweat, I guess it just wore out. But these are some very nice coach shoes that I found at the thrift store. Now, if you can, you can kind of, and, oh, these are eight and a half. Oh, funny. These are eight and a half. But if you can see on the bottom, I don't know if you can see if I'm catching the camera just right. They sold for like $99. So $100, these flat sold for, and they were sold at TJ Maxx. I believe this is a TJ Maxx. Um, let me turn it around. I think that's a TJ Maxx tag that these coach shoes found uh, sold for. They're in excellent condition with the exception of the um, gold part. So when I when I put these on my Poshmark, whenever someone purchased these, what I'm going to do or tell them that I will put that um, the cushion inside because sometimes people don't like to wear things because it's just not pleasing to look at. So I will put the cushion inside um, all the C's are on the outside, so you know some people like to show their coach, but the coach is on the coach brand is on the bottom. If you can catch that right, the coach brand is on the bottom, and so um, I want to sell these on my Poshmark. So if you want to um, purchase any of those shoes, you can look on my Poshmark. My Poshmark is at his warrior. At, po at Poshmark at his warrior Poshmark at his warrior you can find some of those things and some of those other things that I have on Poshmark and right now on my Poshmark let's see everything is $20 because I'm trying to sh push those clothes out and get some new clothes in um, so and the, the new shoes and the new bags or whatever it is that I have on it because I have some other things that I want to put on there but well, I can't say folks ain't buying because that's all I was going to say. But people have been buying in the last month. I am so happy and I give God praise because I've been praying like, Lord, please, God, I want my Poshmark to sell. And I've been getting like a couple orders. So I ain't even going to trip and say that I haven't because I have. But if you want to find any of the shoes, now not these clothes because this is my personal collection, but um, any of these shoes on if you want to purchase any of these shoes, you can find them on my Poshmark. Poshmark at his warrior. I'll leave it um, in the description box. And so I want to leave you with an encouraging word today. I want to tell you that you are important to God. You're important to your family. You're important to your friends. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you're important. And I want to encourage you to keep moving forward forward. It's important to keep moving forward. Never um, stay stagnant. Never compare yourselves to other people. And we do that. We do that. Everybody does that. We compare how we look. We compare, compare what we have. But there's a scripture that says, he who compares himself by himself is not wise. I believe that's exactly what it says. But you can't compare yourself by your standards of what you think you should be doing you can't compare yourself to other people because other people usually are comparing themselves to you. There's somebody out here looking at you and saying, I wish I had, um, or I wish I did, could do this. But all of us are blessed, whether we have lots, whether we have little. All of us are blessed because somebody is always, always, always um, in a lesser position than you that's just how it's set up and it's set up that way so that you and i can bless somebody else and then other people can pour into us and if we could just get that there's always some people greater than us and there's always some people greater um, lesser than us and then there's always some people on the same level in us and so god fixed it so that we could pour into the less and those at the top and when we stand into the less they can pour in us and those that are in the middle we can pour into each other so don't compare yourself to anyone you're beautiful you're smart you're kind and you is important <laughs> bye bye youtube catch y'all later